Yo dog, Kenny Boucher here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up with another painting tutorial on this glorious Friday, the literal best of all days. We're doing something totally different today. We've been getting a lot of requests to do some more general hobbies style painting videos about maybe the basics of the airbrush. So I haven't done one of these in a while and I haven't even thought about this in a while. But what better place to start than with the airbrush? I use an Awada Eclipse and today I'm going to just show you my daily cleaning ritual. At the end of the day, I break this airbrush down, I put it in a little shot glass, it has 50-50 water with Vallejo airbrush cleaner. I let it sit there overnight, and then in the morning, I pull it out, and I clean it. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you that whole process. We're going to clean each part individually, we're gonna put it together, we're gonna take it apart again, and we're gonna put it back together. We're gonna show you some other secret tricks. So let's call it five tips and tricks to keeping your airbrush clean, next level painting style. And I know a lot of other people out there have you know, like sonic care uh, contraptions and other amazing things to keep the airbrush clean. I literally do this professionally, haven't had a problem. I find that the real trick is keeping your airbrush from drying out. So I rarely let my, air, my airbrush sit in the air. It's almost always in water. It's almost always in a liquid solution. A lot of people say, you know, you'll hurt the uh, rubber gaskets and stuff like that. You might, um, but I put a lot of use into my airbrush. I've had three and five years five hard years of airbrushing. I'm talking hours and hours, more than almost anybody. I've used, I've gone through three airbrushes. I have gone through three Iwata eclipses in five years. The first one was my very first experience, so that's almost a gimme, I didn't know what I was doing, but you know, so that was in the first year. But then in the next four years, literally only went through two. So I'm getting about two solid years of hard use. I'm talking daily use, running paints that are not even airbrush ready through it just you know grinding 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 so maybe there's a better way to take your airbrush but currently you know the investment of you know less than two hundred dollars every two years to keep my airbrush going and never clogging like literally it does clog like everyone asks me you know oh what's your simple trick so what, what, how do you keep your airbrush from clogging i was like y'all literally just use water i only just recently started using airbrush flow improver and I only just recently started using Vallejo Air. I was using GW and Privateer Press Paints for years. Never had a problem. It's just about keeping your airbrush from clogging. And that's what I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you like one of my basic daily rituals to keep my airbrush from clogging. Super simple, right? So anyway, let me uh, talk about promoting real quick, the longwear.net. Check it out. That is our hobby resources for exclusive and early accesses. We've been adding new videos every day. We've got this video and the battery ports that's early access if you made it to the long war net you probably saw one of my tutorials or one of the battery ports that i edit for the long war uh with my friend juice and my friend rob bear the other two uh owners of that company if you've seen those videos then that's probably why you made it to the long war net you get to see all of these hobby tutorials one week early but then we have a whole set of videos that you can't even see anywhere else but on the membership page we use 100% of this money for bringing Hobby back, for making these videos better, keeping the tutorial rollout, and everything. I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart to all the veterans out there and all the soon-to-be veterans, and don't hesitate to try it for free. We have a no-hassle sign-up and cancellation policy. Also, thank you to all my patrons over at Patreon. That is my personal crowdsourcing page. That is um, a tip jar for me as an artist. If you like what I'm doing and you want to do a little bit more to help me, check out Patreon.com. Anyway. Let's jump right into this. Let's do this thing. Five simple tricks to keeping your airbrush clean. Let's use some Vallejo airbrush cleaner. Literally mix it 50-50 with some water and put it in a shot glass and put your disassembled airbrush in that shot glass. That is where I leave my airbrush. Most hours of the day, it lives in this. Then in the morning when I wake up, I pull it out, take my toothbrush and I scrub it down. Give it a quick little once over. This is the body of the airbrush. So this is kind of the most durable part of the airbrush, but you do want to give it some love. So I'm just going to brush down some of that excess paint. No big deal. Pay medium levels of detail to the exterior. You want to pay most of the attention to the interior. And that's going to take us to simple trick number two. You're going to want to get a tool to brush the inside of this airbrush off. I recommend I think they literally called um, airbrush brushes. They're, they come on a key ring and you can see they come in all sizes. They're kind of like pipe cleaners. You can get them from almost any website with just a couple of refined searches on Google. And I'm gonna use each size for each chamber that they're for. And I'm gonna very thoroughly scrub 
the interior of this brush down, get all that excess bullshit out. It should be pretty easy since it's been soaking in a airbrush cleaner overnight. Gonna clean the um, the chamber here where the uh, airbrush tip goes into the airflow pot. Um, you can see here that this smaller brush can even go between the two chambers. And you just kind of want to find all those little spots that you can fit this little tool into. It really helps keep your airbrush clean and in working order. So let's move on to the next part of this tutorial. And that's gonna be clean everything. Literally every little part you can clean, clean it. Give It's worth just the five minutes to give it, to brush it off like I'm doing right here. Brush all that excess off. It should be pretty easy like I said because it has been salt, soaking in a solvent. So let's move into simple trick number two. Sorry, number three. Brass tip. The brass tip is the most delicate part of the airbrush. It's kind of also what the airbrush is. This little brass tip with this little tin tip on it, this is, it's very malleable and it's very delicate. So tip three would be be delicate. Don't be as rough on this tip. So that'll take me right into simple trick four. This is one of my techniques for keeping that tip clean without hurting it. Hops number nine, gun oil. It's also mainly a solvent. So what I like to do is I like to dip the needle. Just to get a little of that oil on it, and I like to put it back in that tip, and I like to roll it around in there, and I like to kind of coat the inside of this, this tip and break up the paint with this solvent. Also, it doesn't hurt to lubricate the needle. Uh, this is kind of, you, you don't really need oil, but I really prefer it. Uh, they do sell other lubricants that are silicone based and oil free, but I really enjoy the, uh, the Hobbs number nine. This, so, this, so as I roll it around in there, like any paint that was dried in there, it's gonna come out straight up. And here's the final simple trick, the trigger. This trigger, you are really gonna thank me for oiling the trigger. I wanna oil that joint, and I also wanna oil that cylinder that hangs off of that hinge. It's also kind of a bitch to put back in the airbrush. You just gotta be patient, you gotta see, um, you gotta get some light on it so you can see in there. And we're gonna just, you know, dangle it over <laughs> that little hole and we're gonna slide it in there. But once you get it in there, you'll notice that the oil really helps give you a nice smooth pull. And this cylinder is kind of what's in between the air and the paint. So as you depress it, you let air in. So a little bit of oil really helps. So now we're going to put this airbrush together and I'll let you watch me put this airbrush together. So that way um, you can feel a little bit more confident with how you treat your airbrush. And you'll also notice that I never put the housing back on the back that protects all this stuff. It literally is for noobs. Throw that shit in the trash. It's meaningless. Like it literally just gets in the way because there's so many th tricks that I'll show you later that you want to have direct access to the needle and you want to have direct access to the uh, the nut that keeps the needle on. So, well, like I said, I'll show you in another video why I like to keep it that keep it keep that back um, protection off. Um, but let's let's put this airbrush back together and take it back apart so you can feel confident. And you'll notice I'm actually oiling some of these joints. Because I'm getting ready for like a nice long day of use. So I'm going to cinch all these things down as tight as I can by hand with a little bit of oil in there to kind of keep it from gunking up inside those threads. Because paint has a way of gunking things up. So it's almost put back together. So here's a bonus tip. Putting the needle in, there's a trick to it. I'm going to slide it in very gently all the way down. And now I'm going to take the, the nut, the little, the, the little nut that threads on there to keep the needle in place. And I'm going to slide it down to the base. And now I'm going to watch me push the needle in very gently. Slide down. Now tighten it up. You want that needle flush against that tip, but you don't want to push too hard because it can distort the soft brass, the soft tin in that tip. Here it is. Put it back together. Let's take it apart real quick. Let's see. Watch how fast it is to take this thing apart. Go to simply unscrew the nut, drop it on the table. Pull the needle out, unscrew the spring housing, super quick, pull it all out in one motion, pull the trigger off, break the, the, the thread on the uh, tip, pull it all out, there it is, I mean it happened faster than I could say. Now let's put it back together one time, like marine style, you know what I'm saying? And do this a few times to feel confident. So we put the trigger back in, put the bracer on, put the, the spring on, put everything that holds that part of the airbrush together, screw it on, thread it in, hand tighten it, just give it a nice good tight um, man grip on it, 
put the needle, uh, the, the tip on real quick, screw the whole housing to the tip on, high and tighten it, but give it a good tight, you know, twist of your, your, of your man wrist. Slide the um, needle back on, put your nut on, use that trick I showed you to be gentle, and literally, like I said, it was happening faster than I could narrate. Deleted scenes, bonus content, and all the interviews and post-game wrap-up videos can be located in the Hall of Veterans on thelongward.net. Visit thelongward.net today and try a week completely free with no strings attached. That's not all. Thelongward.net is also your hobby resource for exclusive early access with an ad-free experience to all your favorite videos. Members of the Hall of Veterans gain early exclusive access to multiple hobby videos.